been morphed into carbon graphite. Got a two horsepower suction fan and it's hooked to the bandsaw. I mean it is really the fine fine dust that this makes is it's unbelievable. So I'm gonna get the fence out of the way and reposition the camera and we'll freehand cut that block out. Okay, I'm getting my sander set up. We're gonna shape that. I had to move the fan to it because I mean you don't use the sander with graphite without putting clouds of graphite into the air. So I've got the big fan hooked up. Getting ready, I'll turn it on. Here we go with the noise again. Okay, what I need to do now is cut in the initial spout. So I take a round file and I get it centered up because I want the I want to pour right out of the tip. 
this isn't like making a mold where you don't want to scratch the bottom. If you accidentally scratch your bottom, then so be it. But I just start in. And I try not to break too far down below the lip. Right now I'm just almost to the edge. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so now I gotta try viewfinder. I'm trying to get that to where okay, so I've just done a groove. It doesn't go all the way down, it just is a good starting point. Now I'm gonna put a stone in the drill press and we're gonna sculpt this out a little bit. Okay, we're gonna put a little more depth to this. I have a pointed stone I'm just kind of following my little groove I put in with the round file so I don't get too overboard on this because all we want to do is give the gold or silver a good little channel to start from. I'm going to finish this out with the round file once I get the majority of this graphite moved out of the way. If you make little zingers or that, bother anything, they'll smooth out. Okay, we got a nice little start. This doesn't show very good. I'll get my light over here. Nice little start on the channel. I'm going to move back over to the little table and we'll shape the rest of this out. Okay, I've got it set over here again. I'm going to take the round file and now I'm just going to start working it. All I want to do is just smooth that up a little bit so the metal will just slip right out. Nice little melting dish. The one thing about these, you're not going to find them anywhere. I make them because I got the graphite and I, I made one just for my own use and they work so good. Then I got a, this is a thicker one. I make these little tongs that go with them and they are really handy at just pouring right into a mold. You got real good feel with that. You know, most of the pictures I take from auctions on eBay, I'm pouring left-handed uh, because I've got the, the still camera right-handed. So you get quite a bit of, with the control, with the tongs, you get quite a bit of control pouring into a mold. And even, even dummies can do it left-handed. Uh, sometimes I'll over pour a little bit. Anyway, that's how you make graphite melting dish. Uh, you don't need drill presses and band saws. You can cut these out with a hole saw. Next video I make, I'm gonna make a video on making the graphite crucibles that I've been selling and it's even an easier process. Well, until I get that one going, uh, catch you later.